This Embrilliance tip is from Embroidery.com. Today I want to show you how to get the demo version of Embrilliance so that you can try out some of the other modules if you're thinking of getting one. If you have an Embroidery.com account and you've already purchased a module of Embrilliance, this is one way to get it. Go to My Designs, and search for Embrilliance. Your programs will come up here and all you need to do is select one and you'll be able to go to the download page. In the download page you'll be able to find a link that says looking for the demo version and it will take you to this page where you can get the demo version. I'm going to download the Windows version. And so then I would just need to install it. I'll go ahead and do that. And now I can open the demonstration version. When I do that the first window that I see allows me to choose which module or modules I'd like to open. So I can start by just looking at Essentials. What does Essentials allow me to do? These are the tools that it has. This is for adding lettering. This is for merging two files together. This is for importing a design from the library. It comes with several different items in the library already loaded. This is for savings, changing my preferences. You can see I have a whole lot of different hoops I can choose. And there are printing preferences as well. I can print my color sequence. I can print a realistic rendering or an actual size template, useful stuff. Um, there are also other tools like the Stitch Simulator, which will allow me to watch my design stitch out. And I can change how quickly that goes. I can also pause. I can insert a color stop and change half of my design. Um, those are some of the tools that you can see in Embrilliance Essentials. Now, if I want to see another module, I'll exit and it will let me, it will ask me if I want to save the changes, but the demonstration version does not save changes. Watch. Sorry, this is a demonstration version. So I can try everything except for saving. Okay, now I'm going to add Alphatrix to Essentials. Let's assume I want to buy that next. So here's what my window would look like if I have Alphatrix. And now I have something new, the Font Mapper. The Font Mapper will allow me to bring in letters and start mapping them. So if I have purchased designs in PES or HUS or any other embroidery format besides the, the BX font format, I'd like to map them so that I can just so that I can quickly type in text and not have to move each letter one at a time to make a word. That's what Alphatrix mainly does. So if I have a whole lot of alphabets that are in a different format, Alphatrix is what I'd want. What if I don't have essentials and I want to just start with Alphatrix? What would that look like? It would look a lot the same. It doesn't have the stitch simulator. It does have the font mapper. We still have preferences. And we still have the shape library. We can merge designs. So I could I can go to my embroidery de designs and find one. And open that. I can do this much in Alphatrix. I can also add lettering. This is keyboard lettering right here that comes with the program. In Alphatrix, you only get one. The rest of these are ones that I've purchased. You get the block font. In Essentials, you actually get 12 preloaded fonts. Um, but let me show you how quickly it works for adding keyboard lettering. All I have to do is type. And look how I did um, in two different cases. I did an uppercase and lowercase and all I did was type that like I normally would and it came out beautifully. And I can just move my design so that it fits. And in fact, I can mirror this if I'd rather have it that way. Ta-da! There, there are several things that Essentials have that has that Alphatrix does not have. So you may find after a while of using your designs and lettering together that there are a few things you want to add so you may get Essentials. And to find all that out the demonstration version is very helpful. You can actually tick all of these boxes and use the full program with all the modules just for testing it out. Again, it doesn't save, but you can try everything out. 
This and Brilliance tip has been from Embroidery.com.